Uh, Hi. Do count on that one, sir. Welcome back to Meta Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Jeff Rappaport. Matt Givens. I'm Geoff Rappaport. Oh. John Lichko. All right. So in That's the, the first news. time I've said my real name all night, by the way. Weren't you on third round? No one's watching anymore anyway, so it's okay. Oh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Matt had a question for you. Weren't you on third Actually, round? Actually, my name's Al Capone. Huh? Cool. I'm sorry, was that You were Matt? a gangster? Me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, just part-time. Yeah, cool. We're the one FKD, FKD mob. <laughs> <laughs> and BMF. Bad motherfuckers. Nice. Okay, go ahead. So, in the news. Mm -hmm. The news? Omnium Gatherum. Yes, okay. Who? Omnium? Omnium Gatherum. Bless who the, you. Who the fuck's that? They're a Finnish melodic death metal band. Okay. Uh, they're releasing uh, a new album on... Called Beyond? Right, Beyond, on February 25th in Europe and March 5th in North America. The CD was recorded by Timu Alto and mixed and mastered by Dan Sueno. Okay, Dan Sueno. Timu Alto. Yeah. Sounds like a Flyers goalie. Yeah. <laughs> Dan Sueno did the recent incantation. That's, that's yeah, right. Dan okay. Sueno. Yeah. Mix, the mix. He's king. That's right. Yeah. So I know Matt has notes on it. I yes, saw his. That trip. whole thing is. Me and Karaki did so the fucking recording, though. And Sweeney. John and uh, John McAtee. He, Matt, Matt filled half his rolling paper. Yes, with notes with on Amy Notes on Amy Gatherum. So I'd like to hear mm. what you have to say about Amy Gatherum. Well, I, as you said, they're a melodic death metal band. Mm -hmm. Generally speaking, I'm a fan of the genre, but I like older, like At the Gates, and even like earlier in Flames, the more death metal y and less melodic. Phantom! I'm sorry. And, uh, Athe just, atheists uh, were a good melodic. That was just an impulse. And, yeah, I think an atheist more atheist is, than yeah. melodic. Atheist. Atheist. More prog, I like yeah. atheists. Oh, yeah. I, do, I like atheists, though. I do, I do like them, too, yeah. Um, Autopsy. So these, overall, they were Phantom. a little bit too pretty for me musically. I know you did. The keyboard. Voivod! You say that. And, uh, wait, wait, guys, one at a time. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, we're being a little uh, disruptive tonight. Nah. <laughs> um, what's he saying? Sodom! Matt, Matt concedes. Sodom. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was saying, uh, um, these are too pretty for me, too many keyboards. Um, I also felt like it did, it, were, it was weird, like it didn't really match, kind of, like what was going on. Like, the vocals are very... I actually like the vocals a lot. The vocals... He sounds like a harsher version of Peter from Vader to me, kind of. Mm -hmm. What are you talking yeah. about? Like, too much keyboard interfering with the guitar and stuff it's just, like that? It's very prominent in the mix and it takes away... Like I said, the vocals are very harsh. Too loud in the mix? The vocalist was very harsh, but meanwhile, you've got pretty keyboard music and it didn't mm -hmm. really seem to mesh well to me. Like, I like what the vocal... I would like to hear the vocalist in, like, a more straight-up death metal band. Like, or Nocturnus? Or a Vaderish kind of thing. Like, I think that would be cool. Right. Did you but, say Vaderish? Uh, what was... Yeah. What was going through with the, along with the music, though, it didn't quite seem to... to fit. Like, his vocals didn't really fit in. Mm. I don't know. You know what I wrote? It was, I said, melodic metal meets Viking metal meets Opeth meets Doom. Mm -hmm. That's what it sounded like to me. I didn't hear a lot of Doomy parts. See, I've never heard this band, so can you describe it to me? I mean, as far... You said there was, like... One of you guys mentioned there was like keyboards involved in the kind of thing, but uh, yeah, like in the you know you hear like melodic death metal, um, but like mid era in flames kind of stuff. But the keyboards were very prominent in the mix, and it was like yes, yeah, like see, I said, the vocals see, were very harsh, so mm. it didn't seem to match to me. Like it was. But like, was it heavy keyboards or a lot of like nah, high, like kind of? It was pretty. It was melodic. It was fruity. You know. Yeah. See. See. I I, I I did keyboards in in metal, but only as a. Uh, it, of a it backing should, role. Right, yeah, right. It shouldn't you know be, like, it prominent. Should be a prominent instrument. A massage. No, yeah, yeah. exactly. Right. Like, like cat massage. Like, yeah. Like, kind of like Dio era Sabbath would use keyboards it only to, it, to exactly. like emphasize, right. you like, know, a vocal line or a riff. You know, sometimes you can get keyboards to make to back the guitars up and make and you beef them up a little bit, make them right. sound a little heavier, you know what I mean? Like Deep Purple would do. Yeah. That, a fart? that fucking John Lord... I'll say that right now. Speaking yeah. of Deep Purple, you guys go home and listen to House of the Blue Light tonight. We'll check it out. I mean, not tonight, but I, I, maybe tomorrow. Yeah. I have not this... I, I, I'm a recent comer to Purple besides, you know, the the obvious thing. But, well, whatever. Besides Purple, keyboards need to be in the background. You need to accent. But, but, right, but they're very effective in certain things. Uh, an atmosphere, if you want to build drama Emperor. in a song, you know what I'm saying? Right. They can be very effective, mm -hmm. but if it's too prominent, it's it's wimpy, dude. I mean, like like like, mm. a lot of my friends that are, that are in a lot of the heavy shit still can appreciate like White Snake, but yeah. see, I haven't heard enough of it, 
original, like, older first couple of White Snake albums. And the only thing I fucking heard was, like, the shit they play on the fucking radio. Which right. to me is fucking. You might as well listen to fucking Europe. Remember that crap ass band? I love Europe. Europe with fucking. It's the final. It's the final. Yeah, 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 exactly. Where wait, wait, like wait, wait, so what's it? You were that the, the other one. The other song. Where's where the, the guitar in the mix? Carrie? There's no fucking Carrie. guitar in the mix. You know? And then there's bands like uh, the extreme bands that use keyboards like Nocturnus. Right? Oh. Yeah, Nocturnus. I fucking love Nocturnus. Yeah, well, that's funny that you say it. It's Nocturnus, still a little bit too much keyboard. The keyboards but. almost overpower that whole thing. Nocturnus is all keyboards. You're talking about, like, the key. The yeah. Album, the key, right? The, the key. Right. Yeah. That's cool, yeah. All right, well, here, here, I'll preface this by saying I agree, yes. The keyboards were way too loud in the mix. But they were at least kind of... Uh, they were still very happy. Yeah. They were relative to the, the dark nature of the music. Right. So it worked. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think that Nocturnus was great. I think uh, the first album, Nocturnus. Uh, I'm really uh, a big supporter of Mike Browning. I oh, he's still I, the world's shittiest drummer. Nah, no. He's Didn't not. he have a zine back not. in the day? I, 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 he, he's, he's no Pete's and Doble, but he's still a pretty decent drummer. He's a right. And he's, and he's better probably now than he ever was. Right. And his vocals are fucking great. Fuck David Vincent and fuck Morbid Angel. How about yeah, that? The new album's pretty horrible. It's pretty terrible. There's a few good songs on it, though. I can't even I get it. That, but, so that's besides the damn talking Yeah, about. yeah, I know. It's not like the old school, but there is some... And I do like old Morgan Angel, so I'm not saying but fuck I, I have to admit, on the new one, there's a few good songs. So I yeah, agree. there's about two good songs on the whole new Morgan Angel. The rest of it's fucking... Yeah. There was one... I think Rave was music. One or two songs I liked on the new Morbid Angel. I would agree with you, but the rest Covenant. of it... That's the album. Covenant was a great album. Covenant, Covenant is great. Covenant is awesome. Yeah. Best album they ever did, in my opinion. Well, there's two two really good albums. There's uh, Abominations of Desolation, which was, was a compilation of demos that uh, Mike Branding was involved with, who played drums and vocals, mm -hmm. and Sterling Scott, Von Scarborough on bass. That is my favorite Morbid Angel, period. And then there's and then there's Alders of Bandits, which is also equally Incredibly awesome, and 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 the difference is, there was like a, a an upgrade musically. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And David Vincent at the time was brilliant. Uh, yeah, now, at the time, yes. Now, yeah. uh, different story. Blessed Hour Six always been my favorite one. It's, I think it's just the flow of it. Yeah, really, yeah, really the first four, I think. Are all yeah, I agree. Blessed Hour yeah. Six is good, but I think the production is lacking. What about when guitar when, when uh, Vincent left and and. Uh, you guys like the uh, I like Formula's Fatal of the Flesh. I thought that was a very uh, yeah. good album. The first like album, the the first album with Steve Tucker was great. The but, frogs. Were, but Gateway to Annihilation. Uh, but Gateway's Annihilation was just like was seemed like weird. leftover. It seemed like leftover track. It was really like. You know, slow, you know the problem like was, with that was I didn't like it mm -hmm. was because Steve wrote the lyrics. Mm -hmm. I tell you, it was like that's what killed it. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll the tell you what I don't like about the later. I like the first album that Steve Tucker did with Morbid Angel. And I like it way better than any than, than this fucking new more man's a piece of I agree. Shit. I'll tell you. I, I, I like almost want Steve Tucker back, but I'd rather have Browning back. But but anyway, yeah. everything they did after that, there was too much clicky fucking uh, what's the word? Triggered drums. Mm -hmm. I could not fucking. I cannot stand clicky bass drums. I fucking hate it. Here's it's got to be heavy. It's got to be more like a Slayer drum sound. Right. If you're going to do fucking Black Death Metal. You can't have this fucking... Mm. If you're using... You know, you're doing an industrial band, you use a drum machine, whatever. It's going to sound... It might sound that way, you know? But if you're playing with real fucking drums, I don't know fucking clicky fucking... You're saying fake ass balls fucking deep drum sound. Yeah. You can do it. There's a way to fucking do trigger drums. You want trigger drums? Fine. You can do it with a natural drum sound. You can actually mic that bass drum of your fucking drum set, have that be the sample, then do the fucking click. And it won't, it won't sound like a fucking, uh, a, uh, you know, troubled fucking tinny piece of right. shit fucking non-fake drum fucking sound. So basically you're saying you pick a path and go balls deep. You either go electronic or go natural is what you're saying. Mm. Go through a natural sound or be... No, a and I'm a guy that writes a lot of fucking program beats, man. I got fucking drum software where I write program beats. Right. But it has a natural sound. It doesn't sound like right. click, 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 click. It doesn't sound like you're hitting a fucking bucket with a fucking fly swatter. Mm -hmm. I was you know just what I'm saying? used to say balls deep. Right. So. Balls deep. So there's yeah. ways to fucking do it. 
Especially if you're using a real drummer. I use fake drums and I make them sound more real than these fucking crap ass fucking real drummers. So to rock this uh, this clip out, I'm gonna gather them, yes or no, for you. I'm gonna have to go nay. There were parts of it I liked overall. No. Yeah, what, what, are we, what are we talking about? Like I said, I'm him gather them. Yeah. Like I said, I would like to hear the singer on a different project. But I thought they were fine. I mean, nothing that I'm, uh, you know, like, I'm not going to go out. Yeah, nothing to write home about. Nothing to write home about. I, I didn't say, Dear Mom, I'm them, God, gather them. Check new them bangs, out. check them out. Mm -hmm. Show 